Good evening Moonbasers this is another short Moonbase Central video tonight I want to talk about comic art um, the first thing I'm going to look at is this fantastic comic I've received recently from one Paul McCaffrey Paul very kindly sent me this um, which is from 2012 it's called The Last Days of Man uh, it's drawn by Paul and written by Paul Scott um, I particularly like the cover of this uh, sort of rogue trooper uh, who's looking through a record collection which I particularly relate to as I still listen to vinyl uh, the thought that vinyl might be left at the end of days uh, it is, it is a joy to my uh, way of thinking Paul McCaffrey drew the recent Project Sword illustration in the limited edition uh, TV21 that came out with the box set uh, Blu-ray and DVD of uh, filmed in Super Mario Nation from Network this year uh, I'm very pleased to communicate with Paul and um, uh, tell him about all the uh, enthusiasts that are out there for Project Sword and uh, Paul very kindly sent me this with a lovely little note Paul thanks for all your help keep on sorting and a completely amazing uh, line drawing line and ink of uh, one of my old time favourite toys uh, Mattel's Captain Laser um, Major Matt Mason's 12 inch friend and there it is fantastic so good it, I actually thought that it was printed on the first page so there you go The Last Days of Man A Study of Human History by Professor Brabble Pap uh, Paul has a fantastic style very very distinctive uh, unique very clear lines very very clear outlines I really do like this style um, uh, the machines are fantastic quite bulky uh, industrial battle damage it's all there fantastic style reminds me greatly of the artist that I'm going to spend the rest of this video talking about so thanks Paul McCaffrey for the introduction continuing the introduction will help me introduce the artist it is Ron Turner and I was also very pleased to receive this through the post from another blog reader Ron Turner's Space Ace Volume 3 four more great stories colorized by John Ridgway plus a Ron Turner interview these reprints of 1950 stories have been brought together by publisher John Lawrence longtime fan and collector now compiler editor and publisher of Ron Turner's Space Ace and this is volume 3 I understand from John volumes 1 and 2 have been very successful it is a not-for-profit um, enterprise and it's with the consent of the Ron Turner estate John sent me a fantastic little comp slip Ron Turn Turner's Space Ace uh, with his email address says hi Paul thanks for giving Space Ace the heads up on Moonbase Central and by all means choose whatever pages you think appropriate cheers John well all the paper pages are appropriate in volume 3 uh, which has been sent to me by John so I'm going to just quickly flick through them uh, by way of introduction to Rob Turner you can see that the artwork from the late 50s is already uh, developing um, Ron's fantastic distinctive style uh, his machines are quite unique um, his figures are excellent and this is quite a beautiful uh, set of reprints we have Space Ace and the Creeping Death here 
again quite beautiful spaceships uh, wonderful uh, colouring very distinct landscapes but I think as we'll probably uh, discover from the next uh, couple of uh, annuals we're going to look at it is his vehicles which make it just going back that back to this remembering space ace um, there is an interview here which talks about Lone Star magazine with uh, the interview is with um, Ron the final story is Space Ace and the Scourge of Saturn beautiful beautiful drawings there's a letters uh, section which is really nice and uh, I will put John's email address uh, on the Moonbase Central blog to go along with this video uh, if you want to get hold of a copy of uh, Space Ace Volume 3 it is quite beautiful I really do recommend it ok John thank you very much which takes us on to the Captain Scarlet Annual um, now I know you're all probably thinking well which one is it which date I'm never very good with dates because they never seem to be very obvious I quickly check the back let's usually put them at the back yep yeah, 1967 okay the Rob Turner story I want to look at in here is also towards the back and it's called the director of economic affairs will be assassinated it's a Captain Scarlet story and for me uh, it's the Ron Turner vehicles which uh, are the most distinct aspect of his art they're just quite stunning the multi-wheeled uh, super octane truck is really quite amazing uh, his, his world trade fair full of futuristic cars is brilliant and um, this particular uh, illustration here of the super octane truck and the uh, MSV together from the front is just astoundingly good in fact Ron Turner can turn his hand to uh, a vehicle at any angle whatsoever and make it look fantastic okay brilliant so what else can we say about Ron Turner <coughs> well he also turned his hand to the guest star of Project Sword Zero X this is Century 21 annual um, uh, it looks like it's from 1968 let me just uh, 1967 actually uh, copyright uh, the previous owner has stamped it 10th of February 1968 it's a beautiful picture of uh, Zero X in flight one of the um, uh, models from the set the story that I want to look at uh, although there's another brilliant one Volcano Alert is a Zero X story oh look at that it's even got in this the scramble bug and an early NASA mobile geological laboratory in here um, so there's a direct link there with uh, the scramble bug that Century 21 later made anyway I digress let's talk Turner and get to the get to the story which is here Zero X Conflict on Mars um, again the vehicles are just fantastic uh, but it's Zero X that I just want to draw your attention to this particular rendition here uh, is just excellent it really is um, I don't know what uh, Ron has done to it but he's, he's made it look um, well industrial uh, the colouring is, is brilliant 
Um, unfortunately, this has got some uh, pencil marks on it. I particularly like this vehicle as well. It's on legs. Um, reminds me of uh, of something quite Project Sword like. Uh, all these little angles of Zero X uh, and the other uh, spaceship that's that's involved, the MEV um, and the Zero X without lifting bodies, they're just all all excellent. So that's out of uh, Century Twenty One Annual. Here's another TV Twenty One Annual. This is nineteen sixty nine. Uh, this is has got the. Uh, the honour of having probably the latest of the latest Project Sword uh, stuff in it. We've got uh, the Battle Breakdown stuff with some uh, fantastic. There goes there goes the neighbourhood. Some fantastic uh, drawings of uh, Project Sword, uh, but again, it's uh, just moving away from Project Sword tonight a little bit although it's Zero X just wanted to look at Breakout now I'm not an expert on comic art by a long chalk um, but to my eye this looks like Ron Turner uh, please correct me if I'm wrong um, it is quite brilliant again the Zero X here I really do love uh, it looks like Turner it's got that um, feel to it uh, the distinct outlines of his of his characters, uh, the shadows. Um, I mean, Ron Turner, in my mind, having discovered him only in the last uh, five years, is second only to uh, to Frank Bellamy, and he's he really is uh, the king of vehicles. Again, another brilliant zero. It's just to conclude the story there. So that is Breakout. The final uh, Turner story I want to look at is in the Countdown Annual from 1972. This is my favourite uh, Ron Turner story, uh, particularly because it chimes so well with um, uh, with the uh, I suppose the spirit and aspirations of the Moonbase Central blog. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in this uh, uh, later um, Century 21 affair. It's got UFO in it and the Persuaders uh, and all sorts of stuff about um, Blue Street, that rocket that came that came back. Um, but the Ron Turner story that I'm quickly leaping through to is called The Collector. Collector is a fabulous tale uh, from uh, whether it's a reprinted from an earlier edition of TV 21 I don't know I'm sure uh, more astute readers will know that um, what I like about this story besides Ron Turner's totally amazing vehicles which you can see here um, I mean this uh, this sort of armory of fantastic chunky industrial craft it's just brilliant I mean it's it's certainly uh, distinctly Ron Turner-esque his boats when he turns his hand to Thunderbirds uh, there's Thunderbird 2 again a brilliant futuristic ship but to summarize the collector is about a guy who wants to collect the Thunderbirds vehicles? Not content with Century 21 toys like the rest of us mere mortals, he wants the real things. Which I think is really quite prescient of um, the boys who created uh, Countdown Annual. This is the 1973 one, by the way, it's on the spine. I don't know whether there was a collecting scene for uh, Anderson memorabilia uh, in 1973 but uh, a story about someone who actually wants to collect the vehicles uh, is certainly uh, 
it is, for me is certainly reading the uh, the Anderson tea leaves because that's exactly what uh, most of us would like to do now so there you have it there's a the collector a well worth a read um, I'm just leafing through it that's the UFO annual 1973 there's lots of other great stuff in it the persuaders crosswords um, that was it so a homage to Ron Turner hope you've enjoyed it something a little bit different uh, and till next time over and out from Moonbase video